I'm tall and lanky like my boy Spider-Man. I got the skills like Spider-Man. It's only right that I become Spider-Man. Hi, I'm Angelique. And I'm Ryan. And this is Earth's Mightiest Show. Where we are hardcore fanning about games this week. Hey, and now you might notice that Lorraine and Langston aren't here. Uh-uh. That lucky son of a gun, Langston, he's over at Insomniac Games, and he is pitching something super cool. And Lorraine is at a super secret location on set that you'll be finding out in a upcoming show. Oh my god. And that is why we are totally in New York filling in. 100%. No, no. JK, LOL, Rawful, whatever. We're just kidding. We're, we're just, not we're not. We no. are here in LA for E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. One of my favorite times of every year. We are gonna be painting the town red with Marvel Spider-Man for PlayStation 4. Literally, because there were tons of things all over town that are in Spider-Man Red. Let's take a look and see how Spidey has done it up proper this year in LA. We are here at the Epic Gaming Expo known as E3. And if you've never been to E3, here's what it is. It is the biggest, coolest, most awesome explosion of video games you could ever experience. You get to play the newest games. Everything you want to do in video games happens here. It's revealed and here. And there's zombies. The, they're, and they're there's over there. plushies. They're over there. And, and there's cosplay. Uh, and right there. Every single thing you would want out of games. Yes. Right including here. Marvel Spider-Man for PlayStation 4, which, yeah, let's be honest, the best thing in the world. People oh are here and they are pumped to play it at E3. I, I want to play. Can, yeah? we, can we go play? I, I want to. Okay, cool. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, cool. While we wait in line to play the game, listen to what these folks who actually already got to play have to say. This line is long, but it was so worth it. Blew my mind. I felt like I was flying as I was zipping around the city. Just keep looking out for the bad guys because they're everywhere. And you got the, the, the web when he hits you with it. And you get shot to the side of the wall. That's wild and crazy. He got the one you jump in the air and do the wild 360 spin. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's crazy. I enjoyed it so much. Like it made you feel like you're Spider-Man. Just being able to like grab something on the web, throw it on a guy over there, shoot him, whatever it is. This is a ton of fun. I spent most of the game just flying through the city and like you can perch at the top and like look at the entire city below, like all the buildings. I actually found a really cool pool on top of a building with everyone chilling. So I went up there, hung out for a bit. That was it. The characters, speech patterns, everything felt good. Story-wise, I feel like it's on a great track. I'm, I'm tall and lanky like my boy Spider-Man. I got the skills like Spider-Man. It's only right that I become Spider-Man. Definitely gonna check it out when it comes out. Buy it. Now we're gonna give you our top five must things to know about Marvel Spider-Man. First, I think we gotta talk about the open world. It is amazing, it is huge, but it's also super duper de detailed. It's super de duper and there's lots of Easter eggs. Yes. Like so many Easter eggs. It's gonna be like every Easter you ever had as a kid own Easter eggs in this game. Yes, look for all of Peter's backpacks. That's one of the many things in the game. But to find the backpacks, you're gonna have to traverse the wild city. You're gonna have to swing around like yeah. a boss. But it's not just a swinging, it's so fast. Yes. And it's amazing, and you do flips, and you can bounce off of walls. He is an amazing acrobat, this Peter Parker yes. Spider-Man. And you find that also in the combat because he is kicking butts and flipping around and using uh, web bombs. through legs and web bombs and <laughs> doing flips over people people's heads, yeah. it's, you're gonna have so much fun. But speaking of combat, mm. one of the coolest things you're gonna find out about this game is the villains. Yes. Not only are they pretty amazing, they're pretty amazingly designed. Yes. And yo, know, Scorpion and Vulture and, and Mr. Negative and Shocker and yo, know, Jacinda and Gavin did the thing. Yes. In this game. Rhino and Electro, all of them look amazing. Even down to the little thugs that you're gonna fight, it's so good. Well, that's not all we learned about the game. In mm -hmm. fact, our own Langston Belton is over at Insomniac Games, the makers of Marvel Spider-Man. Yeah, and he is talking to them about all those villains and so many more. Find out what he says right now. Langston Belton here from Earth's Mightiest Show at Insomniac Games, where I've been getting a hands-on look at Marvel's Spider-Man. Now, I've soaked in a bunch of stuff here, and I think it's a perfect opportunity to pitch a character that I have and get it into the game.
Nick. Hey, man. So I got this idea for a character, and all the characters in this game look amazing. All the designs, the of armor. Course. So I got this character, the water bug. Oh yeah, yeah. menacing, menacing, yeah, the menacing scary dude. Evil water bug. Yeah. So I'm thinking we're gonna start with a green, just a green color base, and then get in there. Hard shell. I'm thinking more bug, bug yep, kind of like. For sure. Right. Yeah, you're speaking my language. Feeling out the forms of the figure. You're kind of coming in. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I, like, yeah. I like the highlights. I like that highlight. You gotta get that rendering in. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like this. Let's get some wings because. Um, oh, I like it. They're terrifying like it. and they fly. What should we do next, man? What are you, oh, yeah. you kind of feeling I for think this one? Just the, the legs. What about the legs? legs? Legs coming out of his side like a rope, like a bug. Where? How many? Three or four? Six. Sure, this is a good idea? I think it's a great idea. Come on. Give, all right, all right. Some, I mean, I get it. The legs are gonna put over the top because then people are gonna know. It's a water bug. You know what I mean? I think I think we have a winner here. That's good. For sure. All right, so I'm gonna take this and see if I can get this bad boy into the game. Thanks for your help, man. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so I have my awesome panel of judges, Brian, Jacinda, and Gavin. Thank you so much for joining me. I only have you for a couple of minutes. I wanna pitch my awesome villain. I, there's a bunch in the game, uh, Vulture, Rhino, Scorpion, they all are great and they're all animal-based. So I want to present to you the newest animal-based threat to Spider-Man. The water bug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see you're looking at the wings. These are in fact wings, and I know you're thinking. Why does that one? Leg? Why does that? Why does? Yeah. yeah. Why does that one go down? Because yeah. he wants it to. It's fine. And is the, he the, the holding legs, his own? Is leg? he holding any? No. He's holding. All he's holding is a big grudge against Spider-Man. Uh, what kind of powers do you? Uh, abilities do you uh, imagine well, here? Well, not a lot, but it's That's really hard. tough to. It's really tough to kill it. It's okay. really tough. You could drop a building on it. Radiation. Uh, spray, if you spray him, yeah. Now, I'm gonna ask you a really tough question. This is, I'm channeling my inner Bill Roseman, who's the creative course, director at yeah, Marvel yeah. Games. What's the, what is, how does that represent the evil side of Peter Parker? What's the, what's the so, opposite, you, you know? People don't like spiders, and they also don't like roaches. Okay. <laughs> True. Okay. That's it, that's oh, it, okay. yeah. All right, all right, that's all right. it, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, you've got like a six out of 10 on the Bill Roseman scale, so see? I'll- See, all right, see that, and that's the scale I want, on the Roseman scale, I want to know, because I think I can get, you can get this in the game, and I, I think it's gonna be great. You guys sign off on this? Well, I have one more question. Okay. Um, what's like, like the tagline, like his oh, quote, like, I'm, what does he I'm say? here. <laughs> right? I think yeah. I think we can get it in. We soon. can maybe work with the writers. All right, on a good. Bit. All right. So uh, listen, be sure to check out Marvel's Spider-Man exclusively on the PS4, September 2018. Leave it there. No, you keep oh. looking at it. Ugh, if only Langston had made it in the game. Sorry, Duder, but we'll have to figure out what's going on September 7th when the game releases. You guys, please, for me, pre-order the game right now. Oh, and, and this weekend, yes. if you forgot to Heck buy yeah. your dad a Father's Day card, you need to hit up your local comic book shop. You know why? Because we're having a Marvel Rising Spectacular mm -hmm. at local participating comic book shops. Yes, this weekend, June 17th, mm -hmm. Father's Day, Marvel fans can share their love of reading and comics with the next generation of superheroes. Oh my gosh, we do that with free coloring pages, free posters. Find your local comic book shop and you will see all the cool stuff you can do on Father's Day. Now. That's it for us here at E3, but let us know what you think of this episode using hashtag Curse Mightiest Show. Oh, Ryan. What? Let's let's go play another round of Marvel Spider-Man. You know what? I think that's a terrific idea. I'm Ryan. I'm Angelique. This is Marvel. Your universe. Bye. Spider-Man. Thank you all for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, please like this and subscribe by clicking on us. Or click the box over there to watch our last episode. Oh my God, hi. Hey, Daily Bugleman. I gotta go.